All right, so the next mechanical flaw we're going to talk about here is just poor back leg drive in your piction delivery. And what I'm talking about here is, well, you see with a lot of guys who've been taught to get to a balance point, stay kind of tall and fall or stay tall in their piction deliveries, this back leg is just not very active. It's passive in their piction delivery, and they lose an opportunity to really get a lot more power in their pitching motion. So you'll see guys, they get loaded up, and then it's just right there. Or they swing that front leg up, boom. But there's just not a lot of action with the back leg. And really what we want to do is get our body, you know, get that early momentum, but then we want to get our body moving powerfully towards our target, and that starts with this back leg. So you need to get a little bit of bend in that back leg in order to get moving powerfully towards your target. Just like if you want to jump high, you're not going to start off with your legs locked out. See how high you can jump that way? Not very. But if you let the back legs bend, you know, then you can get off the ground a little bit, even though I don't have good hops. I'm kind of just demonstrating for you what I'm talking about. So to target that, the, uh, the best drills in the blueprint for working on Boom, getting the body moving powerfully towards home plate for getting that, that back leg involved are going to be um, first off the side hops in the uh, dynamic balance drills. So there you're just kind of working on, boom, getting that momentum started and then driving out. Boom, and then the picture side hops again and making sure that the action is really being led by that back leg. It's not just about swinging the front foot out. It's about getting the hips moving and then driving out with that back leg. Also, uh, uh, an important aspect of powerful back leg drive, it's that back leg and the back foot even are kind of like your rudders. I talked about this in the uh, mechanical flaw of having bad stride direction. That back leg and the back foot are kind of like your rudder directing you towards your target. So if you don't have an active back leg in your pitching delivery, you're more likely to have stride direction issues as well. Um, in terms of the drills that are specifically, you know, involve throwing in the blueprint, um, in addition to those, those side hops and the dynamic balance drills, really the, uh, the power pitching drills are the ones that target this aspect of the pitching motion the most. So I would start off with the momentum catapults this one really, it's all about just getting that back leg into it. So you're starting off kind of facing your target. Boom. And really just making that the point of emphasis, driving out with the back leg there. Then the toes and hip loaders. Again, making this back leg drive an important aspect of that. The load and goes. Getting that momentum started. But then not just being passive with the back leg but really making that back leg drive an important part of the drill. And just working on it that way can help you to develop that critical component to your pitching delivery to get more power into your motion.